Hi, my name is Marcus Huskins, and welcome to the Logic Pro X Revoice Pro Quick Start Tutorial. I've got a session open here. Let's have a quick listen. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So twisted and broken. Lost in the storm. All right, so we've got a couple different issues that we need to take care of. First and foremost, we have some timing discrepancies, and I want these two vocal tracks to be perfectly in time with each other. Secondly, one of these tracks is actually singing an incorrect note. So the idea is that I want to use an APT or an audio performance transfer within Revoice Pro to do all of the work to get these two vocal tracks sitting perfectly against each other. Now our first step is we need to get our audio sent from Logic over to Revoice Pro. Now I've created a Revoice Pro document and I've named the tracks the same as the Logic session to keep things nice and clear. So let's talk about how we would go about transferring these regions over. Well, I'm going to right click and choose processing and we're going to choose selection based processing. Now for my plugins, I'm gonna to navigate to audio units, Synchro Arts, Revoice Pro Link, and because we're using a mono audio track, I'm gonna choose the mono version. This is just a matter of making sure that this is mapped out to the correct track in Revoice Pro, and then we'll just click apply. So this is sent over to Leadvox 01. Now we need to move to Leadvox 02. We'll make sure this region is selected. I'm gonna change the mapping to Leadvox 02, and we will click apply. So now both of these tracks have been sent over. Let's move over to Revoice. I'm going to choose tracks and auto size track heights. This helps in terms of maximizing our real estate. Now I can double click my cursor anywhere to reposition. And in addition to that, I can use the R key to zoom out or the T key to zoom in. All right, so essentially what we want to do is we wanna choose one of these tracks to be the main reference for both pitch and time. And we're gonna use an APT to do this. Now in order to create an APT, I'm going to click the B key. Selected process is gonna be APT. The initial input start and end, we will choose selected audio. For now, I'm going to choose tight timing only. And our guide is going to be Leadvox 1 and our dub is going to be Leadvox 2. The output will leave this set to automatic. We'll click the new process and as you can see, Revoice Pro has generated a brand new file. I'm gonna use a T key to zoom in. If we solo out track one and two, we can listen to the original performance against each other. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all. Okay, so we can hear the obvious tuning issue, which we'll take care of, but also the timing. Let's click the E key now, and we can solo out the guide and the newly created output. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. All right, so as you can hear now, these tracks are perfectly in time with each other. Now with the APT selected, if we click the P, we can open up the parameters. And if we wanted to make any changes, for example, to this preset, if I wanted to ease off a little bit, for example, you can see that it's generating a new file indicated by Leadvox2 and in brackets out. But what I wanna do actually is I'm gonna use a preset. I'm gonna choose music, slightly loose pitch and time. This is actually my favorite preset and it works 98% of the time for me. So now what's happening is the pitch and the time from Leadvox 1 is being applied to the Leadvox 2 and Revoice Pro is generating a new output track for us. So if we take this into account, let's have a quick listen now. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Okay, so now everything is in really good time and it's a little looser than the tight timing only preset, which I actually like. It makes it sound a little bit more natural, but we need to correct this note. So in order to do this, I'm going to right click and choose the edit audio option. Now in order to do any manual pitch corrections, we have to transform this to a warp region. We can do that by clicking the W key. All right, so now I'll just reposition my cursor here. I can hold alt or option, click this solo, which will unsolo all of them. We'll resolo this and we'll go into full screen mode. Use the T key to zoom in and let's identify the issue. My heart is an ocean. Okay, so it's this one right here. I can simply highlight this area and then I can click and drag to change the tuning of this note. Now, another thing that we can do is if we hold Alt or Option when click dragging, we can snap to semitone increments. Let's try that. So there we go, we've just corrected that. I'm gonna return us back to our default view and let's have a listen to these two against each other. My heart is an ocean. If I was to undo that change, watch what happens to Leadvox 2. My heart is an ocean. 
So because Leadvox 2 is set to follow the parameters of Leadvox 1, and we did that manual tuning adjustment, the Leadvox 2 output will automatically generate any manual changes that we make to Leadvox 1. This is what makes Revoice Pro so amazing. So based on these parameters that we've set, the Leadvox 2 is now following. Now, if you enter this view and you need to get back to your tuning of Leadvox 1, we can simply right click, choose Warp, and edit time and pitch if we need to return back to that view. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going to return our screen so we have that split real estate again. Let's go back into Logic, and I'm just going to move some things over because essentially now we need to bring these tracks from Revoice Pro back into Logic Timeline. And in order to do this, all we need to do is hold down the Shift or Alt Option modifier, click until we see this icon, let go of the modifiers, and drag and drop. I'm going to repeat for the lead box two out. Again, same thing, Shift and Alt or Option, click. Let go when we see the icon, drag and drop. So now we have these two new files, but they're not in the proper place in terms of the timeline. I'm going to lasso select the original two regions. We can delete those. Now I'll lasso select both of these, right click, choose move and move to recorded position. Now we can have a listen in logic and hear our final results. So that's using Revoice Pro with Logic Pro X. If you'd like additional information, we have a two-part Getting Started series, which you can find on the Synchro Arts website as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.